Welcome to Series 5 of Heart of the Huntress. This series, Margaret, Donna and Christy head to a new country on the African continent, Namibia, to hunt at Ocheree Wildlife Safaris. It doesn't take long to find out that Namibia is a unique and special place, and staying at Ocheree is like visiting old friends. This season also sees a brand new guest hunter, Kelly from the Netherlands, to join in on the action. And she brings an energetic and enthusiastic vibe to the group that is equally matched by her humorous and friendly nature. After a long drive from the airport to the lodge, the hunters are greeted with the most heartfelt welcome by the team at the Safari Lodge. And they have a short time to find their rooms and relax before the hard work begins. Nature's spirit is free. His heart's beating. No, no. It's beating because I love the change. I've got the heart of a hunting. There's a fire within me. It runs so deep. It's calling and raging. Just wanna be free. But the journey. Yes, the journey has just begun And I will climb every mountain I will rise with the sun No rivers too deep My freedom is to run And just to run And I got the heart I got the heart of a hundred Like the wind on my back, the sun on my face, this heart's beating, it's beating, cause I love the change. Just me, nature's spirit is free, this heart's beating, it's beating, cause I love the change. And it's raging. Before hunting, they must have some practice shots at the range to get comfortable with the rifles they will be using and to ensure that the peregrine ammunition is properly sighted. The sun on my face, this heart's beating, it's beating cause I love the chase. Just me, nature's spirit. Although this is sometimes a long and arduous task, it is essential to have the weapons and the hunters shooting with precision. The ladies shoot with extreme accuracy on the bench and the shooting sticks, and the whole team are confident about a successful week ahead. After marvelling at the impressive Namibian sunset from atop an elevated hunting platform, it is time to return to the lodge. Ocheree Wildlife Safaris was created from scratch to offer the perfect hunting experience and safari destination. With every modern convenience and comfort, it is their mission to make your African adventure very memorable and unforgettable. Alright, this is the first day. We are about to go hunting. I'm very excited to see and what we're able to get. Let's go. Ocheree Wildlife Safaris has over 17 world-class quality hunting game species, ranging over more than 20,000 hectares of unspoiled savannah. A full team of skinners, professional chefs and qualified guides are available at your fingertips waiting to make your visit the greatest hunting experience of your life. The staff are always standing ready to make your experience as great as possible. Yes, this morning we started with uh, a few walks and um, one of them was very exciting, so a few orbs standing. 
They are also ready to help you plan and organise the rest of your vacation in Namibia and to cater for your every need. And they do it with excellence and passion. Kelly is the first hunter to depart the lodge ready for the first morning's hunt. While Donna and Christy prepare for their own hunt in a different part of the property, Kelly has her sight set on an oryx. These unique and striking animals are plentiful on the property. But with large herd sizes, it would not prove a walk in the park for Kelly, as there are so many eyes and ears ready to spot and race away at any sign of danger. There are also many other species out and about, making for a challenging and exciting morning stalk. Kelly sees plenty of eland, hartebeest and warthog. Kelly has an opportunity to take aim at a red hartebeest but unfortunately, it does not give her enough time for a shot. After lunch, they head back out for the afternoon with the famous Ochery salute to hopefully bring good luck. Finally, a herd of oryx are spotted. Kelly attempts to stalk in for a closer shot, but unfortunately, the herd move on. There are many more close stalks, including a herd of oryx again, some red hearted beast, and a herd of wildebeest. So I'd really like to thank all of the sponsors involved in this series. Uh, it wouldn't be possible without them. So Wildebeest Clothing, um, they've kept us covered literally in this hot Namibian sun uh, with our hats, long sleeve shirts, our buffs, um, our sunglasses also keeping us well protected uh, and of course not to forget um, our cherry uh, hunting safaris who've supplied uh, the venue and the beautiful animals keeping us uh, well fed and watered as well uh, and all of the team here have uh, involved in all of the behind the scenes stuff so our, our PHs of course but also uh, the staff in the kitchen and cleaning these uh, beautiful rooms as well. Kelly continues her hunt the following day. The animals are active in the cool of the morning and Kelly is able to take some time to marvel at some of nature's creations.
the going to them. I put my weapon on a weapon stick. We waited for a very, very long time. I was getting very nervous, getting very, getting excited. And then they went off. Now, we took the weapons back. Went back to the Oryx, waiting and waiting until I finally was. I took a shot and he instantly dropped down. I was so excited. It was unbelievable. I started shaking, started crying. One hell of an experience. What? I'm just doing it. I've heard it. It was a perfect shot, and Kelly and her PH, Felice, are able to approach without hesitation to inspect her trophy. It is truly a magnificent animal. Kelly admires its coat, the colours so bold and contrasting that it is hard to believe they blend so well into their environment. It is celebration all round as the Heart of the Huntress and Ochery team welcome Kelly home and congratulate her on the first animal taken for the week. <laughs> off now. Double yeah. trouble. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Boy, Thank you. Good show. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, Good show. Yeah. Yeah. Kelly shares her story over the evening meal and the girls plan the next day's hunt while they are spoilt by the hotchery hospitality. In the next episode, Donna, in her usual fashion, must exercise great patience and persistence as she hunts her first Namibian animal.